if you're watching this video, you took apart your windshield wipers and then you found this, and then you probably found that somewhere in your, you know, under the hood, which is the remains of the bushing that was in here. So you ordered the parts and you ended up getting this. And it came with that. And you're like, well, that works, I guess. But, like, how do I get this into this? And what I figured out, I just got this one in here after playing around with it for a little bit. But well, it's not pretty. You can see I kind of marred it up a little bit, but it seems to work. You know, it's kind of like removing a ball joint or resetting a caliper. Like, you could just use a, a socket and a vise and... I think the way it goes, the way I got the other one on, is you'll see that one end has a uh, an edge, and the other one's sort of recessed. So you take the small end, and it lines up with the hole, obviously, and then uh, you have to kind of push it through. I mean, I suppose if you had a press, it would work too. Uh, but chances are, if you're driving an old Dodge, you don't have a press. So I'm going to take this socket. This is... This is an 11th, 16th socket, and I'm going to place it over the hole like that, and then I'm going to press the thing in using the vise. Let's see if I can do it again. Okay, you may have to try it a couple times. Um, it's hard to see, but I, I, I got one, one side sort of dropped in there. Let's try two sockets. All right, it's not pretty, and it's kind of, you know, 90% on, but, you know, I think it's going to work. I don't see this thing coming out of here anytime soon. You know, on the back, you know, it's kind of mushroomed, but whatever, you know. I, I just was able to slide it over this piece I have over here on the bench. It seems to be okay. So let me let me try the other two. This one, this one's okay. Uh, so let me try the other two, and then I'll, I'll report back. Okay, just learned a new trick too. So like on this one, I got it in there, but uh, I don't know if you can see, but it's, um, you know, kind of not really sitting in there right, and it's like there's just a little bit of plastic here that I can't seem to get to go in. So what I took was I've got, you know, like a heat shrink gun thing for, for you know, doing heat shrink and I'm uh, just gonna 
heat up the plastic and then use a flathead screwdriver to push it in. Let's see if I can do it again. Okay. You gotta be careful not to, you know, you, you want to kind of indirectly heat it. And the last one I just watched until it started to bubble a little bit. Okay, so they're starting to do it now. And there it is. Pum. Popped right in. Okay, I got, I got this on now. I had to fight it a little bit, but she went on. So now, I guess I'll do... Yeah. I don't know if it really matters. I'll do this one. Alright, I'm having a hard time getting this guy on there. I wonder if I can do the same softened method here. Screwdriver. See if I can kind of just ream it out a little bit. There it is. Okay, she just slid on. So this, that that worked. Just using screwdriver, kind of. All right. So I got one more to do, and it's behind this. Hopefully, it shouldn't be a problem because I've. I kind of already slid it on before. It didn't seem to have too much of a problem. All right, so same thing. I'm, I'm going to try to bring this one out a little more. There it is. Now, I just got to get the bolts on. I did a... Uh, one of these is... One of these is stripped over here, so I'll put that one in uh, last. I think these two are more important. Alright, we fixed it. I mean, look at this thing. Why would anybody get rid of this car? This is great. I mean, what, that took us, what, like an hour, you know, maybe an hour or two to, I mean, what a pain in the butt, but, I mean, you know, now we got windshield wipers, as good as new. I hope this helps somebody.